Hello, welcome back to Cisco Firepower Threat Defense training video series. I'm Nanda. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to do a rate limiting for remote access VPN users. The use case here is how do you do a rate limiting for a set of uh, users who is logging through any connect uh, VPN, uh, VPN client. For this demonstration, I'm going to have I have a Firepower Thread Defense, which is six to one, running on Firepower twenty one thirty and a FMC, and I have an i um, i server uh, which has a user one, two, and three for identity purpose. The user one belongs to IT group, and user two belongs to HR group, and user three is a generic user. The use case here that I'm going to demonstrate demonstrate is if I um, user one who is part of IT group uh, logs uh, any connect uses any connect VPN uh, VPN then he should get a uh, full MBBS of uh, data transfer whereas if a user two who is part of HR group uh, connects using any connect you should be able to uh, get a data transfer rate of uh, two, uh, 2 MBBS I have this setup uh, already configured I have already configured five or three defense and I have a uh, Outside PC, which already has an any connect, I've already configured a remote access VPN on this Firepower uh, uh, Thread Defense. Uh, if you want to know how to configure Firepower Thread uh, remote access VPN on Firepower Thread Defense, you could uh, check my video on YouTube on any connect remote access VPN on Firepower Thread Defense with FMC. So here, um, I as I said, I already have created a, a VPN on. Uh, the policy is already defined and then deployed to the device uh, all we have to do is uh, just go ahead and test so I'll, um, uh, here we are in the outside host let's um, connect any connect VPN and then check uh, the connectivity uh, data transfer file rate before uh, configuring quality of service I'm going to use uh, user 1 any connect is um, established so let's um, do a ping test so I'm able to ping the in internal host I'm going to do an FTP to the internal host and then do a file transfer so here I have a file which is of 46 MB uh, let's uh, transfer the file and check um, how fast uh, we, 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 we are able to download without quality of service I'm able to retrieve this, uh, get this file um, within eight seconds, and the transfer rate is about six Mbps. Okay, let me um, quit, quit the FTP, disconnect the VPN, and then enable quality of service. So, in order to enable the quality of service, you have this option uh, under the device. Um, here I have already created a quality of service policy um, so I have two policies uh, here which is currently um, in the disable mode I'm going to enable and then enable it um, the first fall policy I have given a name for the first policy and applied it on the source interface this source is being identified based on the interface object that you associated on this um, on the matching rule here I have um, pointed to an outside um, zone which is nothing but FTD's outside interface so um, this quality of service has been applied on outside interface and then I have um, set the uh, uh, rate limit at 16 megabit per second which is uh, which is 4 Mbps so uh, under matching criteria I have used interface um, interface is mandatory minimum one either uh, uh, source interface or destination since we are applying this policy at source interface I'm going to set it to uh, outside interface and then as a matching criteria I use uh, a VPN pool uh, as a source IP as you could see here uh, in the diagram using ice radius attribute if a user one who is part of IT group 
uh, if he locks in the eyes will uh, instruct the fire power thread defense to allocate uh, vpn pool from 1.1.3.1 dot to 1.3.20 range whereas if a user 2 um, who is part of hr group logs in um, the eyes would instruct the fire power uh, thread defense to use the vpn pool of 1.1.2.1 iphone 1 12.20 ip range if a user 3 logs in um, or any other user would be able to use the default ip pool which is in the fire power thread defense um, so with uh, so with this um, uh, ip pool i'm going to differentiate uh, the connection between the user 1 and user 2 and then apply the filter So here, as I said, uh, on the network, I'm use, going to use the source IP as uh, VPN pool, HR pool, as a, one of the matching criteria, and then uh, set the download speed, and the, this is all that uh, you have to do it. Uh, apart from that, if you want, you can apply um, application port, URL, or um, HTTP tag. However, I have not tested with um, user, um, user base. Um, I need an LDAP to be integrated. Um, probably in the next upcoming video I'll be able to do it and then uh, do a sh short video on that to you uh, meanwhile we'll just use it with the uh, VPN pool IP and then um, I'll create one pool one quality of service for HR and then the second rule uh, for IT group this is the same thing I'm applying to the source interface uh, which should be an outside interface of FTD on the network uh, matching criteria would be vpn pool of um, pool of it which is uh, 1.1.3.1 uh, so here i have uh, given 32 as uh, megabits per second which will be 4 mbps so let me enable this uh, enable this rule after enabling let's save and then deploy this policy to the device deployment is uh, complete let's um, go to the um, outside host and then uh, check the rate limit so uh, the vpn is disconnected let's connect it again uh, let me first log in as a user one We have connected let's do a quick so ping is successful uh, let's do a ftp to the box so i'm able to log in um, uh, ftp to the inside host um, there is a again i'm going to retrieve the same file so now let's say uh, check how much uh, it takes to download this file so it took about uh, 11 seconds and uh, the transfer rate is around uh, 4 mbps whereas without quality of service we saw that transfer rate was um, uh, was about 6 mbps okay let's um, let's see what is the transfer rate um, when we use user 2 who is part of um, hr group ideally we should get about uh, 2 meg per second so i'm going to change the user to user 2 and uh, password Once connected, let's check if they have got a different IP pool. Yes. Can we ping the machine inside? Yes. Then let's do the FTP. Logged in. And let's get the file.
now you could see the uh, file transfer rate is um, around 2 uh, megabytes per second and then uh, it took about 24 seconds for HR group the user group who is part of HR group so it means that both this policy were able to be I mean we are able to apply um, uh, works properly so let's um, quickly check on user 3 who is not part of neither IT or um, HR group and uh, what is the how does it hap uh, what happens if any of the rule does not match so then the rate limit does not apply so they would be put uh, into the um, generic bucket of uh, generic bucket of the device so user 3 has logged in and uh, hopefully he should get a different IP range yes uh, do an FTP do a file transfer yes um, it is about 8 seconds to transfer the uh, file which is about 6 um, megabyte uh, mbps uh, for file transfer uh, this is without um, the, this user uh, did not up get applied um, quality of uh, rate limiting with this we have come to the end of this video i hope this video is informative hope you to hope you to see you soon in next video thank you